Welcome to the Silas Bronson Library in Waterbury, Connecticut, USA. Today we're going to be talking about how to place holds on items using the online catalog. If you have a Bronson Library card, you might want to take it out now. On the back of the card, you'll see the barcode number. You're going to be entering the barcode number in order to place your holds. You can ignore those spaces you see and just type in the numbers. Take a look at the expiration date on the card. If you think your card has expired, you want to bring it in to one of the library branches. You also need to bring in a photo ID and we will be happy to renew your card for you. You're going to need an internet connection in order to make your online holds. This is the URL for the Bronson Library homepage. And this is what the homepage looks like. We're going to open up the online catalog. So you see the link at the top of the screen for the catalog. I like using the advanced search feature. It gives you more options for your search. So I'm going to click on advanced search. Let's run a few sample searches just to give you some practice. If you like bestsellers, uh, how about if we try James Patterson? Under the author, I'm going to put in James Patterson. And suppose I prefer to read audiobooks rather than print, so I'm going to select audiobook under the item type and click the search feature. I see I've retrieved over 90 hits here. I'm really only interested in his most recent book, so under the sort option, I'm going to have the system sort it so that I can see the very newest titles. Turns out that the newest item that's come out is called Jackie Haha. -Ha. It's an audio book. And I see under the status that it's still considered on order, meaning we haven't yet received it here in the library. It's a recent purchase. I can still put a hold on it even though it hasn't yet been processed here in the library just by clicking on re request item. Let's go back and try another search. I'm going to go back to the advanced search feature and I'm going to click over here where it says clear form. In between searches I want to make sure I'm starting from a clean search form. Suppose I'm interested in a DVD and I don't really have the full title. All I know is the word blue is in the title. I'm going to go over here and type in the word blue. For the item type, I don't have to specify an item type, but I might want to select video. The term video includes DVDs as well as video cassettes. So I'm going to click on the video recording for item type. And I'll click the search feature. I received quite a few hits on that. Let me scroll down the list a little bit. Okay, this is the one I was interested in. It's called Blue Planet. I see that we actually own two copies of that DVD. One is at the Bunker Hill branch and one is at the downtown branch and they are both available. In order to click to put a hold on that I would just go over here to click the request item. Let's do one more search quickly. I'm going to clear the form. This time I'm interested in a music CD and my favorite performer is Charlie Parker. So let's put in 
Charlie Parker's name under the author. I'll click the search button. And I did retrieve six items, but none of them are the ones that I was interested in. So I would like to enlarge my search beyond the Bronson Library. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to search under all of Bibliomation. Let's click the search feature. Now instead of six hits, I've retrieved 47. I'm going to scroll down the list. And it turns out this is the album I was interested in, Carnegie Hall. I see that the libraries are Newtown or Ellington. I could either go there and pick it up in person, or I could use the request feature. But before I put in a hold, I'd like to see what songs are on that album. So I'm going to click on the title here in order to bring up the full item record. I scroll down and I can look at the actual songs in the album. Turns out this is the one I was interested in, so I would just go over here to click the request item in order to place the hold. What happens after you click request? You would come to a screen that would ask you to log in, and this is where you're going to input your library barcode number in this box. The PIN number is the last four digits of your telephone number. If you encounter problems logging in, contact the library reference department in order to reset your PIN number. The telephone number would be 203-574-8225. After you log in, you would come to a screen that would allow you to specify how you wish to be contacted. And you will see that you have various options here. You can also go to this box in order to change the pickup location if you'd like to have it sent to the Bunker Hill branch you can do that here you can also have it sent to a different library in Bibliomation any changes you make to the contact information will only apply to this particular hold in order to change it across the board, you have to contact the circulation department, and the telephone number is 860 I'm sorry, 203-574-8206. If everything's okay, I'm going to click the Submit button, and I will get a message telling me whether or not the hold went through and in this case it was successfully placed from this point the materials are going to be in transit it may take up to five days or a week before the material reaches the Bronson library and is ready for pickup once it is ready for pickup I will be contacted to let me know that the circulation department will hold it for five days and it will be behind the circulation desk for five days. If the hold request did not successfully go through, I'll get a message that will look like this. Why was the hold rejected? Very likely your card has expired and you need to come into the library in order to renew your card. You'll need to bring a photo ID as well as your old library card. There is no fee to renew your card. It's also possible that your card is active but the library you belong to is not within Bibliomation. You could have some fines in which case you may need to contact the circulation department to find out how to proceed and to reduce the fine balance. Some items simply are not holdable. For instance, our reference books or books within our genealogy collection. You may pull them up when you search the catalog, but the hold request simply won't take effect because they, they don't circulate. 
Regarding new books, we only accept holds from our own cardholders, and the same is true at other libraries. Each library has a certain amount of discretion as to whether or not they accept holds, and at the Bronson Library, there are certain items such as video games where we will not accept holds, even from our own card holders. If you encounter any difficulty placing the hold online, you can always contact the reference department. We'll be glad to assist you with it by phone. If you're wondering how long of a wait you have for a particular item, there's no way to really check it online. You, you would really need to call the circulation department. There's no limit to the number of hold requests you can place. If you decide not to pick up a hold, the circulation department will place a notation on your record. And if there are three no-shows, you will be barred from any further hold requests for a three-month period. If you wish to change the pickup location, you can log into your account in order to make that change. And let me show you how that works. We're going to go back to the Bronson Library homepage and click under My Account. I'm going to log into the system. And I can look at my account here. There is a section that will tell me about fines, any items ready for pickup. I also see that I do have two hold requests. Let me go in to view those hold requests. I see I have a book and a music CD, or rather an audio book, that are active holds. It's telling me that they are both in transit. If I wish, I can click on any particular hold request in order to edit it. And the system will allow me to change the pickup location. That's really the only change I can make online. Thank you for joining us. Welcome. We hope to see you again soon at the Bronson Library.